there are so many similarities between the two of you when I was sort of thinking about you last night, as I often do. Um, <laughs> There's nothing wrong. <laughs> Getting in a bath. <laughs> putting on a bit of Kenny G. <laughs> spending a bit of time on your own thinking about these two men. Okay? Um, but but there is one there is one very defining quality that you that you both have, and that is loyalty. There is loyalty to your acts, but 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 also um, an incredible loyalty from your acts to you both. Um, you know, the Eagles, for example, is, is, an, is an incredible testament of loyalty where you, you must have been through so many different times and yet there is a sort of, un, like, how many acts today do you hear all the time? Like, oh, they've left them, they've gone with them, oh, they're here, they're over here. That doesn't seem to be the case with, with either of you. And, and what do you base that on and what is the trick for that? Because I think that's a trick that can be used, or not even a trick, it's a, it's a sentiment that can be used in whatever business you're, you're in. How, how do you garner that, and, and how important is that, and what do you, what do you think the secret is to that? Um, look, from our standpoint, you know, we like what we do. You know, I, I meet a lot of younger managers that are saying, this is my stepping stone to my own company and my own this and that, but you know, these people are, are our friends. You know, he and I, um, you know, I had to you know, sit through him with him when he got the call, uh, you know, when one of his great artists OD'd, you know, and it was personally really devastating to him. Um, and we love what we do. We both love artists, we love the work that they do. And you know, it could be worse, we could have real jobs. Because I've never felt ever that what I do is like, uh, you know, hard labor. You know, it's, it's, and, and I know he feels exactly the same, you know, and, and he tries to teach that. I know into his executives, there's an amazing amount of loyalty at his company for the people that work for him. You know, it, it, it's, it's kind of simple. But you gotta love what you do. If you don't, you shouldn't do it. Which is why you need to get off TV and get on the road. <laughs> uh, the global head office of what was originally Polygram and then uh, Universal had sort of shifted from London to New York. Um, and had been in New York for about a decade or so. And our lives, our careers have been based on uh, gut, gut instinct, smell, experience. And I just had a feeling about Los Angeles. I, you know, it's always been the entertainment capital of the world, TV, film. But there was there were these tectonic plates were shifting in terms of you know, you know YouTube, Google, Apple, Northern California. This was. Uh, before um, uh, the, the, the real um, investment from Netflix, Snapchat didn't exist, Facebook weren't in music, uh, and I just had a, a gut reaction that that the tectonic plates of distribution and content and intellectual property were shifting, and it was a bet that, that I made. Um, it's the most magnificent place to live from a personal perspective. It was one of the best decisions I have made for, uh, I made with my wife for our family and for our children. And you know, I, 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 whenever I need to get my wife's real focus, I say we have to go for a drive. So there's no music, no phones, nothing. And I said, I need to go for a drive with you. And she said, oh shit, what's this? <laughs> that if there was one piece of advice that you could give to anybody who's trying to do anything, as everybody in this room is, um, from two guys who've, who've done it, you've done it all, and, and yet you're still hungry, there's still, uh, you know, Irving was trying to cut three deals in the green room back then. Um, what is your, what is, the, what is the, the one piece of advice that you would give to anybody who's looking to achieve anything close to the level of success that you've, that you've both achieved? One quit school. Um, to to uh, dream big, but remember that uh, dreaming isn't good enough. You gotta you gotta stay with it and execute it. I think it's a time of great opportunity throughout the entire entertainment industry. I mean, not in the live side. I never would have dreamed that things could be as good um, 
as they are right now. So, and you know, and it's it's cool now to work in the music business again, and that's exciting for me. Uh, and my, I think my response is going to be something very macro, and it's going to be marry well. <laughs> 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 